Although, now, are you going to help me or not? Well, uh, just give me a few facts here, and I'll see what I can do. Look, there isn't time. Spencer could be here any second. Where were you coming from? Look, he chased me from the Titan into an abandoned warehouse across the street. I locked him inside, and then I ran through the alley downstairs. I looked up, and I saw the hotel sign, and I remembered you lived here. That's right. I did tell you to come by here if you ever needed some help. And I need your help now. Look, when you came in, did you come by the desk clerk? Of course not. I jimmied the lock on the fire door. Well, if you figured that out, then I'm sure Luke is going to figure that out, too. Well, then give me a place to hide, and fast. Hey, take it easy, will you? Now, look, why don't you just try out there on the fire escape? Yeah? Where does it lead to? Leads to nowhere. How can a fire escape lead to nowhere? Because this place is a dump, that's why. Well, isn't there anywhere else to hide? Well, I don't think you want to hide in here anywhere. Yeah, okay, okay. A fire escape will be just fine. Where's who? Don't give me this innocent routine now. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Did you just come in here barking out orders like that? What is this? That's what I did, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's terrific. Uh, Luke, what do you want? All right, for starters, I'm looking for a guy named Kurt Maxwell. Kurt. Kurt who? Don't play dumb with me. I'm not playing anything with you. I just got back into town. I haven't left the room since. All right, that's what the desk clerk said. Now, see, there you go. Did, uh, that jerk give you the key to my room? No, nobody gave it. Okay. You're good at doing that. Yeah, pretty good, aren't I? Oh, uh, look, you about through playing, uh, Lieutenant Columbo? Oh, here? I haven't even started. Listen, what are you doing with the window there? Just take it easy. Why do you care if I touch your window? Huh? I don't care. Oh, really? You slimy little creep. I would have known if I had any sense that you would team up with the Cassidines. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You got it all wrong here. Oh, no, I haven't got anything wrong, man. So what am I supposed to do? Some guy comes busting through my door, then he goes out the window. Where is he, Baldwin? I don't know. Damn it, for once in your life, you give me a straight answer. I am giving you a straight answer here. The guy came in, he went out the window. I don't know where he is. I want you to stay out of my life, Baldwin. Both Laura and I want you to stay out of our lives. I have stayed out of your life. Oh, sure you have. How? I promised to keep my distance, and I've kept my distance. Yeah. How do you explain what I found in my stateroom tonight? Your liquor license. Don't play games with me! You took Laura's nightgown, you ripped it into shreds! And you left it on the bed for me to find. I don't know what you're talking about, Luke. What? No, please don't deny it. Because it's a very sick thing that you did, man. And I know that you did it. So there's no need to deny it. You already told me you left the liquor license. That's right. I was over there. I delivered it. But there was nobody on the boat. Uh-huh. So naturally, you just decided to kind of nose around in places that you didn't belong? I figured it was something that you wanted, something that was very important to you, and I wanted to leave it in a place that I was sure that you were going to find it, Perfect. Luke. You put it in a great place. I found it, and I found all your other little calling cards. Luke, I didn't do it. <sighs> okay, then who do you think did it? I don't know. You know, I bumped into this guy when I was coming off the boat. Kurt? That's the guy. That's the guy you were just chasing out the window there. 
You see what he did? I bet this is what happened. I bet he went in and ripped that thing up, figuring you'd blame me. Then he brought you over here, you know, right on the trail. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's a very nice try. I don't buy it. <laughs> well, Luke, uh, what proof do you have? I don't I have any proof. I don't need any proof, because I know you did it. Well, Luke, I think that you are wasting my time, then. I think that Kurt fellow did it. And I think if you're half as smart as you think you are, you'll be real careful about who you have living on that ship of yours. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I don't ever want to see your face there again. In fact, I'd really not like to see your face ever again anywhere. Okay. The last time, stay out of my life. And definitely stay away from my wife. Cup of hot coffee. I could use something a lot stronger than that, Martha, but I'll take the coffee for now. What happened to your friend? You know the guy who went through the back with the glasses? Yeah, well, he wasn't a friend of mine, but I sure as hell wish I knew where he was now. Luke! Can you join us? Uh, yeah, okay, for a minute. I saw you when I came in, so I didn't want to interrupt. Well, now. Well, that didn't stop you before. <laughs> Well, that's true. I guess that was pretty rude, running in here after some bimbo through the kitchen and all. Did you ever catch the guy? Oh, no. I was close. He got away. What was going on there? I mean, what happened? <laughs> it's a long story. I can't really go into it right now. I gotta gulp down this coffee and get to the airport. Oh, is Laura coming in? She left New York around 11 o'clock. I can't wait to see her. <laughs> 